take a look at the Huawei P20 Pro. What do you see? Now don't be distracted by the iridescent backing that basically makes this phone look like the mobile version of a Starbucks Unicorn Frappuccino. No, the three camera lenses on the back of the P20 Pro are what really deserve your attention. Huawei has gone big with a 40 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel monochrome lens, and an eight megapixel telephoto lens for helping you zoom in really close. That's a, that's a lot of cameras and the P20 Pro has a ton of photo features to match. It can take pictures in color or in black and white. It has five times hybrid zoom. You can take portrait photos with different lighting scenarios, which is a direct copy of the iPhone X. Huawei says the camera can take a usable photo even in an extremely dark environment. And its software can take much better pictures over a long exposure time without you needing a tripod to keep the image from blurring because let's face it, your hands just aren't that steady. But wait, there's more. You can take a shot in under half a second when you double press the volume down button, though you won't be able to frame it yourself. Artificial intelligence settings within the phone will detect objects like food, people, and flowers and automatically apply the right settings to help photos look their best. There's also super slow motion video at 960 frames per second, just like on the Samsung Galaxy S9. And all that's with the rear cameras. You can take a selfie portrait too using a 24 megapixel front facing camera and apply beauty mode if you'd like. The camera also gives you the option of saving your selfies flipped or as you see yourself in preview. There's also a pro mode, HDR, and the usual sub settings to play with. We'll have to fully test the cameras to see just how well they do. Now, if you don't think you really need three cameras on the back, Huawei's got another phone too, the regular P20, and this shares many of the same specs, like Android 8.1 Oreo and lots of internal storage, and the ability to notch or not to notch. What the P20 doesn't have is that extra telephoto lens, and the rear cameras boast fewer megapixels. So to break it down, the P20 gets you a 12 megapixel main camera and a 20 megapixel monochrome lens compared to the P20 Pro, which gives you a 40 megapixel main camera and a 20 megapixel monochrome lens. The two phones have a few other differences besides, for example, the P20 is a little smaller, it's not quite as water resistant, and it has a smaller battery as well. But don't worry, you can still get it in that mesmerizing twilight shade. Check out our first impressions for even more details and differences between the P20 and P20 Pro.